today we have another build your own or BYO episode headed of course by architect Miko de los Reyes and I can't wait to show you guys around because I mean just look at that facade right very timeless I love the fact that the first thing you will see about this house is character. So you have no walls here in the front. You can see the main entrance, you can see the carport, and in between and on the sides you have plants beautifully framing the architecture. And I can't wait to show you guys the house itself. Okay, so before we enter though, you have your carport over here and you can fit four vehicles comfortably so two in here and then two over here so these two are going to be protected obviously because you have a roof over it and you can see the lovely reclaimed wood on the ceiling and that's going to continue all the way over here above your main entrance now your main entrance is impressive like when you walk up here by the way you can also park another car in here, so technically, in total, you can park five cars and then perhaps some at the front itself for your guests if you were to entertain people. In any case, when you walk up here and you look at this, it feels grand. Thanks to all of the wood that you see, the texture, and the lines that just lead you to look at your solid wooden doors, which are huge. Now, <laughs> now, if you'll notice, the wood has so much texture, right? And I did say it was reclaimed wood. So a lot of the wood that you will see here are repurposed or reclaimed. So it gives off that much needed character amidst or against modern architecture that just lets it pop. Okay, so you have four stairs leading to your main door and look at how nice and neat that looks. And then on either side of your door, you can appreciate the maktan tiles or stone. And then I love that you have several textures going on. So you have the stone over here and then you have this texture that's nice and rough. And the colors that they used, super natural, modern, but very timeless. I think you already have an idea of who this house is. And yes, I say who because Houses have its own character and they have their own persona. And sometimes you can judge a book by its cover. In this case, the main entrance is a good indicator. So as you enter your solid wooden double doors, you have your foyer. Now your foyer also has the Maktan tiles over here that separate it from the living area. So beyond this wall, Hi! Hi Miko! Hi. Architect Miko. And so guys, if you remember, we have here Architect Miko. Welcome Julia. So Thank you very much. You can see we're here now in the open living and dining area. We have a high ceiling going on here, bringing all this light mm -hmm. into the space. And so our goal when we designed this house for our client was that we wanted to create this permanent home for him because he had been based abroad for so many years now. And he just wanted to plant his roots here where he's really from. And we had to do, you know, we had to work around a lot of things. One of them was, uh, well, he wanted to entertain. Ah, that so explains the open the area. Open plan, which I'm sure you'll <laughs> yeah. walk around in, in mm -hmm. a while. And then the other one was all his furniture pieces. So having been based abroad, he accumulated a number of really furniture special pieces, pieces, both from Southeast Asia and the Philippines. So these are a mixture of both antique and newer pieces, but all very beautiful solid wood. And the solid wood theme is a consistent thing you'll see throughout yeah, the house. Yeah, like one look and you can see already that yes, that is exactly. something that you tried to pull together. Yeah. Yeah. So here on the living areas, we have a tiled floor, mm -hmm. but then the wood um, comes in from the ceiling and the paneling. And upstairs on the second floor, you'll see later, is of course on the floor. I love it, I love it. So I'm not going to keep you any longer. Um, feel free to take a look around the house. Thank you. Okay, so I will see you later. Yes. All right. Thank you, architect Miko. So in case you haven't seen their page on our website, make sure you check out www.presello.com. So as architect Miko mentioned earlier, you have this open space, perfect for entertaining family and friends. So you can have them 
chilling out in the living area or dining here in the dining area. And then you can also open this up toward, uh, this leads to the lanai, but if you open this, so you can basically have everyone here gathered and having a good time and being able to um, basically share uh, these parties or evenings without necessarily being cramped in one small room, you know what I mean? So you have different areas for different groups or they can all be conversing with one another and just even talking across the room. Okay, now speaking of entertaining family and friends, I love that they did this. So you have Soligia and behind this sliding door you have the bar. So it's a nice touch, you know. If you want it out of sight, you have this very Filipino uh, design. But if you do want to entertain, just open it up and you're good to go. And speaking of concealed things, you see these? All right, so you can pull on these to reveal your glass panels. And this is going to separate or divide your dining area from your kitchen. Now you might want to do that in case you were cooking and you didn't want the aromatic foods, well, foods, aromatic food <laughs> wafting throughout the area. Or if you want to keep uh, certain conversations more private, but if you were to keep it open, like now, you could be entertaining, cooking over here, talking to your guests here on the bar or even the dining area, living area, and even though the night, dinig, the, your voice will travel probably. <laughs> but anyway, speaking of the kitchen, you have an island counter, you have storage here beneath, you have your sink built in over here, and then you have, as I mentioned, a bar on the other side. You have your industrial grade range and hood lots of storage and what you'll notice is it's very modern but it doesn't feel stark it doesn't feel uh different or you won't disassociate it from the rest of the house which again has lots of character and that's i think one of the main things that i noticed about this house it merges old filipino beauty with the more modern asian aesthetic and that's a skill that is a skill to combine and make it just look flawless and timeless. Okay, so we just came from the show part of the kitchen or the show kitchen area. So you can see there you have your built-in oven, microwave, you have the refrigerator. And that's just about the only things that you can see from the common areas. But once you go in here, you have the more private part of the kitchen. So it's still one area, right? but it's a little bit more hidden so this is what they like to call the butler pantry so essentially the uh, service area of the formal kitchen where they can still prepare food where the sink is wash dishes where the rest of the smaller appliances are like a coffee machine grinder mixer what have you as well as access to the daily kitchen so if people were preparing lots of food from the daily kitchen they wouldn't need to go through the doors anymore you can just pass the food here and then ready to serve you can also open this area up to the backyard which of course if you go around it will lead you back to the lanai but you have this nice little outdoor area as a breakfast nook actually even this is counted so if it's just you and your family you can count it as a breakfast nook but it's also perfect for your service crew or staff oh love the inconspicuous placements of the outlets and there are many by the way okay so from your kitchen you have here access to the actual pantry so that's storage so you have here a double action swing door with a frosted glass panel over here so this one leads to the gorgeous service or daily kitchen so it's this hallway basically that feels nice and airy thanks to all of the jealousy windows quality jealousy windows so it has a screen so you don't have to worry about insects flying in but all of the goodness of the breeze go through and my cross ventilation because hey, there's on this side there's a lot of windows on this side and then meron din dito so of course you have lots of storage you have your sink your industrial grade stove again and if you'll notice everything is stainless steel because this is where you can 
really go all out and prepare food for a lot of guests. So this is where the magic happens and then you just pass. You can pass the prepared food over here to serve to the guests. Okay, so one last thing. This is the back door that will lead to the side. It's not going to make sense to what I'm but you guys get it, right? It's the back door that leads to the side. Anyway, which will lead to the utility area, so your laundry, your tanks, and what have you. But I just wanted to point this out because I love it. I don't often see back doors that look like this. But I just wanted to lead you guys to look at this door because it's a back door entrance, right? It's actually made of metal. And you have glass over here just to add to the light going in. And of course, so you can see who's actually on the other side. And these look like louvers, but they're not. They're solid. You don't really need it because you have jealousy windows on either side anyway. But I don't know, I'm lang ako kasi I don't often see metal doors that look this good. I love that. Oh, and also you'll notice that you have more of the furniture even here in the service area because the client has a lot of really good furniture and this is one of them and I love that they chose to put it here and use it as the service uh, table or dining table or even breakfast nook. Because it's, you know, it's nice to sit down and just relax while you're cooking. Comment down below if that's also something that you do. Personally, in our family, whenever anyone is cooking, that's where the chica happens, right? Okay, so before we head up the main stairs, I just want to show you what's behind this door because we passed it earlier. And this is the guest accessible powder room. And just look at this beautiful sink. Again, more of the furniture, very ornate, very intricate. And they use that with this kind of sink. Then you have enough space for your toilet. And then they put this massive mirror to make the space feel even bigger. You have high ceilings still. And then the mirror over here kind of matches this one. So everything looks very cohesive. And you even have enough space for art. And as you might have noticed, there's a lot of art in this house. Next to the powder room, we have here access to the elevator, which will of course lead us to the second floor. But we are going to go through the stairs so that I can show you just how nice the steps are. Solid wood, perfectly executed, super clean, but still again, has so much character because of the grain. And that is the same for the handles. Okay, now before I head up, make sure you hit like, click, subscribe, and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos like this one. And again, by the way, if you haven't noticed, this is a BYO or Build Your Own episode. So if you want to see more of this, make sure you check out our YouTube channel and our website at www.precello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Precello. Ah, I love how clean everything looks. You have this nice rug lining the hallway, but not the entire hallway. Just, just a little something to draw your eye. But speaking of drawing your gaze, check out this area. Ah, you know, they really did a good job with the landscaping for the garden out to the side because it adds so much here inside. And that's part of the design. So they wanted it to be nice and airy and uh, to have lots of natural light. And that's why you have all of these windows. Of course, with that, you also need to have a nice view, right? So I'm glad that they were able to frame this as you climb up the stairs and as you leave the bedrooms because all the doors here, or at least majority of it, <laughs> lead to the bedrooms. Now speaking of, of course, you have here your landing for the elevator and then you have two doors over here let's go through this one first now this could be a bedroom but it is currently uh, used as a den or entertainment room so you have your projector over here so this one actually opens up with a white screen for your projector so you can watch movies here you can you obviously have really nice odd a really nice audio system set up you have a game table and then you have 
massive glass panels that you can open up as well as a screen over here when you go outside you are basically at the front of the property and you have this balcony where you can just appreciate your neighborhood and again this is a very nice neighborhood so standing here priceless oh but speaking of priceless this house isn't for sale just a reminder for you guys okay so when i said earlier that this could be a bedroom that's because this has an ensuite toilet and bath with a sink of course your toilet and then an enclosed shower space let me turn on the lights and check this one out the shower area is huge look at that it's i love how square it is it feels very symmetric the tiles are going to be easy to clean because you have these massive cut tiles right for the walls and for the floor and then the windows so the windows for all of the toilet and baths at least here on the second floor look like this so again cross ventilation it's open up top and down below so hot air goes up right and cold air goes down so there's the intake outtake it's a science but basically this ensures the fresco yung toilet and bath nyo. and then of course the glass is there to protect you from the rain these are handles <laughs> i love that they're also clear so they're so they don't get in the way of your view i mean <laughs> Okay, now in front of this, we have bedroom number one. Although technically bedroom number two, I suppose, if we were being technical about it. <laughs> but over here, you have the guest bedroom. I have this much space. And I love how the furniture pieces are also massive. Now you would think that furniture like this should be in bigger spaces, but somehow this works. This table, sakto sakto siya sa wall na yan. And I love how deep it is. So they, hindi siya tinipid, kumbaga. You have a lot of space to work on. You have all of these ornate Asian furniture. This one's actually pretty modern. Now check this one out. It's cute. So there is a place for all of the furniture that the client has. And look at the ensuite toilet and bath. So they made use of this furniture as well and just make it work you know what i mean very timeless very modern but still has that asian flair so you have your sink your toilet your enclosed shower space but the highlight for me for this particular toilet and bath again of course you have the window over there but then you have this you have the wooden louvers that is both a sliding panel <laughs> and this i don't know I, I just love it when woodwork like this works well okay so let's head back out and again as you might have seen earlier you have more glass panels over here that you can open up for your own balcony now the balcony itself okay i'll just open it i'll just show you Oops. The balcony itself is only until here. <laughs> Much like the earlier balcony, the, or the one that we saw earlier. This is more for aesthetic. <laughs> so it, there is grass over here to keep the... This portion is on top of the main entrance. So it's to keep that area cool. But also, speaking of roofs, or lack of it rather, it's technically bubongyan, eh, right? but it's just grass. The actual roof has solar panels, so this home is also solar power ready. Well, not ready, it's actually being used already. Capable. Okay, now this is the hallway. As you climb up the main stairs, the first thing you will see is, of course, the architecture. And then over here is a sample of what I mean by them designing the house with the pieces the client already has so this is the altar room or the prayer room so of course again you have the furniture but what was really interesting to me were these panels so these are existing panels that the client already had so in so instead of changing the panels to suit this room 
they actually measured the room so that these could fit. So that is also the beauty of having existing pieces even before you start building your home because you can plan with it in mind. That's exactly what they did for this one. Okay, so this is the door for the master bedroom and as you can see it's quite modern, solid wooden door. But what I forgot to mention earlier are the other doors from bedrooms one and two. So I'm just gonna show you a B-roll over here and just look at it. This is actually from the client's ancestral home. So they repurposed these doors and used them here in this home. Okay. So now we have the master bedroom. And of course, as you would expect, you have a lot of space. And again, the furniture pieces, very intricate. And I love that they were able to bring all of this here because as architect Miko mentioned earlier, a lot of them are imported from different uh, Southeast Asian countries, Indonesia mostly, and then some of them are from the Philippines, different parts of the Philippines. So it's really nice when you have a collection like this and you can actually place them in your home purposefully. Okay, now speaking of purposefully, you have here lots of windows that still let you see the gorgeous wooden eaves and then you still have the windows actually for the cross ventilation and then over to this side you have a sliding barn door that will lead you to the walk-in closet you have a lot of space for storage you have your vanity over here another closet and then a chair specifically for wearing your shoes I love, I love it when people have specific chairs for specific needs. That is one of them. Okay, now over here through this uh, doorway, you have access to the lavatories. So these are actually two sets, left and right. So this is one set of lavatory with all of the storage, the vanity. This is the second one. And then they both have doors that lead to its own toilet and shower area. I love this. It's so private. You can basically, this is yours and then the other one is your partner's. Again, you have the window, very breezy. So you can claim this as your own and then give the other one to your partner or whomever. And it's gonna be the same. You have your toilet in your enclosed shower space. So this is one of those um, layouts that I really really appreciate the fact that the lavatories are out very easy to get to and then the toilet and shower area which of course you will have to be a bit more vulnerable right so I love that it's super private and you just have the space all to yourself okay so from the walk-in closet you have a door here that will lead you to the office and of course obviously this one is very private so we don't want to spend too much time in here you have access to a storeroom and then you have another door that will lead you back out to the main hallway here on the second floor don't you just love how it flows it's very straightforward very timeless but again so much character speaking of character let's now meet up with architect Miko again Uh, before I forget, we are going to do a recap and that means you guys can look at these tastefully done b-rolls.
So before we meet up with architect, a quick recap. You have three bedrooms, you have a driveway that can fit five vehicles essentially. You have lots of open space, beautifully framed by this architecture, beautiful landscaping. Everything is just nice and timeless and clean. You have 526 square meters of lot area and then 478 square meters of floor area split between two levels. Now those are just the numbers, but what I wanted to architect Nico to talk about is the project itself. So architect, I went around the house, lovely as per usual. Thank you. Of course, I'm sure the guys are also very uh, happy that they get to see houses yeah. like this. But speaking of, what is it about this project or this house that you appreciate? Well, I think it's of small details that some of our clients are open to us using. For example, the wood ceiling in this lanai. Mm -hmm. It's really Beautiful. a continuation of the wood ceilings around the perimeter around the of the house. Yeah. And so in the lanai, it just comes out a little bit wider. And all of the wood is um, repurposed, reclaimed wood from old houses or houses that have been torn down. And, you know, I'm very cautious about using wood in our climate because of, you know, so many things you have to consider. The Humidity. Sun, the rain. Yeah. yeah and, you know, even termites. Oh, right. right. Of course, yeah. And so I like to, generally, I like to design houses that are more sustainable in terms of the maintenance aspect. So when it comes to wood, I like to be conscious of that. And when we use older wood, um, I guess it's also a different quality than the wood source today. And I agree. so we get harder wood, um, stronger wood. And because it's reclaimed, I guess it's just a plus. We know <laughs> that no trees were cut down. Yeah, it's sustainable, yeah. yeah. Of course, it's, it's not perfect. Friendly. You get all these little um, nail holes. And but I think that's what adds more character to exactly. it. That makes it more interesting. Exactly. Yeah. And some of our clients appreciate things like that. So for Hopefully this you guys too. <laughs> you do <Exactly>. too. <laughs> <laughs> and um, maybe another thing I'd like to point out are just some finishes that we we've put around <laughs> the exteriors of the house. So we have a combination of the local stone, the Makdan, Makdan. stone, mm -hmm. and also plaster finishes with really good textures like this. And I'm a fan of using these finishes because there's not a lot of repainting throughout it's the It's easier years. to maintain. Yes, yeah, exactly. that's true, as that's true. long as we apply them the right way, mm -hmm. these materials last years. Well, I have no doubt you and your team basically apply these things the right way from the design, from the schematics, down to the construction itself, into the finishing. And I can tell that you also enjoyed working on this project as well. So yes. if you guys, also want to uh, work with Architect Meek to build your dream home, make sure you check out their page in our website at www.presello.com. And there's for sure going to be more BYO episodes with Architect Miko. And we will see you in the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you Architect. Now, that being said, invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here.